I feel like the lighting isn't good right now and it's really pissing me off. Hi guys, it's me Jessica and welcome to another video on my channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to get this really adorable hairstyle. I'm gonna try to go down a little bit so you can see the cute little mini bun on top of my head. So this is just what the hairstyle looks like. I'm in love with this hairstyle. I've been wearing it a lot recently and I just love it. And I use extensions in this hairstyle from a brand called Irresistible Me and their company is so amazing. And if you wanna buy some extensions, I suggest you check the link down below because it's just really good quality and these extensions are amazing. But you can also do this hairstyle without extensions So don't think extensions are a requirement for this hairstyle You can wear them with or without the extensions I just feel like extensions give the hairstyle a little extra, you know mm. So if you want to see how to get this hairstyle then just keep on watching So here I am with my natural hair All natural I did not apply any heat to this I didn't straighten it, curl it, blow dry it I didn't do anything I just let it air dry when I washed it yesterday And this is what my hair looks like So I have no extensions in currently And just... As I said, all natural. I got more mango. And today for this hairstyle, I'm going to be using some extensions. And these are the extensions that I'm going to be using. And if you don't want to wear extensions, that's up to you. You can wear them if you want to. You don't have to. It's not required for this tutorial. But I'm just going to be wearing them for some extra volume and length. And the extensions that I'm using today are from this company called Irresistible Me. And they kindly sent me a package. And this is my first time, like, actually owning extensions. I've used extensions in the past, but I've never, like, actually owned any. So this is my first set of extensions, and I love these so much. Great quality, great Price. And the people that I talked to in the company were so kind So if you guys are looking for some extensions, I really think you should check out this company and no this video is not sponsored They're not paying me to do this They just kindly sent me this package and I decided to film a video with it and just to give you a little bit of background info on my set of extensions These are the 200 gram 22 inches Set and I got this in the shade. I think it's called medium brown. Yeah, I got this in the shade medium brown And this is what the package comes with but I just wanted to show you guys this box like look at how adorable that is So the 200 gram set comes with the following extensions that I will be showing you and these are 100% natural Remy clip-in extensions So I'm just gonna tell you that's a plus. These are just absolutely amazing. The quality is great. They're so soft and I just wanted to make a special mention to one of the wefts in here because like honestly, it's my favorite and gotta mention it. So this has been my favorite and this is the four clip weft. As you can see, it just has four clips. And this one has just been my favorite one because it just gives me so much volume, so much length. It's just amazing. And the company has actually told me that this has been one of their most loved products. So they actually just recently did this, but you can now buy this four clip weft separately. So if you want to get a set like I did, I got a 200 gram set. You can also do that. But if you want more, you can get another four clip weft. And these are amazing. They're one of their best sellers. And I honestly love it. So I think y'all should totally pick up one of the four clip wefts because they're amazing. So I just wanted to tell you that these were the extensions that I'm going to be using in this tutorial but again you don't have to use extensions if you don't want to just use whatever you're comfortable with but if you want some extra volume extra length I suggest using some extensions so let's just go ahead and get started with the tutorial now so first I'm going to spritz my hair with some nourishing coconut oil and this is just what it looks like and I just picked this up from Walmart for like five bucks I think and this is one of my favorite products ever so I just take this and I spritz the coconut oil on the ends of my hair and coconut oil is amazing for your hair it keeps it soft it keeps it healthy so every time I use a heat product I love to spritz my hair with this and I spritz it right after I take a shower too so since we are going to be working with heat today I want to put some heat protectant on my hair and I'm going to be using this and it's from Tresemme and it is the heat tamer leave-in spray and it just looks like this and I picked this up at Walmart too and this bottle is actually almost empty the liquids like right here I need to buy another one this is my favorite it just protects my hair it ensures that I won't damage my hair too much so I'm just gonna be spritzing this all over the tips of my hair and kind of like towards the roots too but I'm mostly focusing it on the ends of my hair and you want to kind of spritz it like six to eight inches away from your hair. Oh gosh, I got it in my mouth. <laughs> oh my god. So I went ahead and spritzed that and now I'm going to go ahead and apply the extensions. And I really apologize if this hair tutorial just goes wrong because I don't have a mirror in front of me currently. All that I have to work with is this mirror right here. So you guys just have to bear with me. We're going to fight through this together. So since I am doing a half updo, I'm going to have to position the extensions like a little 
weirder than normal, if that makes any sense. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to take the kind of like two thirds top of my hair, just leaving a little bit on the bottom right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and clip that up with a butterfly clip. If I can find it, where is it? Oh, it's over there. So I went ahead and clipped my hair up. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my four clip weft right here. So these clips are super gentle on the hair and honestly they don't tug or anything. So if you're worried about that, it doesn't hurt at all. And these extensions are not uncomfortable. I actually don't even realize that they're even there, but I'm just gonna go ahead and try and clip these in and I'm gonna turn around so y'all can see what I'm doing. So I'm just starting on the right side of my head. And I just press it down and I clipped it in. Super, super easy. Then I just clip in the next one. Boop. Then I have one more clip to go. Okay, so I have that clipped in now and look at how much longer my hair is now. So I have that clipped in, so I'm gonna go ahead and take down my hair again. So as you can see, my hair is just a lot longer and the color really matches. I think this calls for a mango break. Honestly, this four clip weft on its own would be good in itself, but I want to add more because, you know, bigger is better and everything's bigger in Texas. I have so much hair right now. So I think that's enough for the bottom half. Now I'm going to add some to the top half. So I'm just sectioning off the top half of my hair. And this is going to be all the hair that's going to be going in the little mini bun on the top of my head. So I'm just sectioning off this part of my hair again. So now I'm just going to take this hair tie and I'm going to pull back all of my hair including the extensions at the bottom and I'm just going to tie it to make sure that I won't get mixed in with the top half of my hair. And then now I'm going to let this down again. Okay, so I'm going to add in a few extensions so the bun could be a little more poofy and have a little bit more volume in it. So I'm going to be taking one of the two clip wefts and I'm going to be putting this into my hair. So I will hide the extensions later when I pull back my hair, but for now they're just going to be showing. So I'm also going to be taking two of the little one clip extensions and I'm going to be putting them one each on the sides of my head. Okay, so I think those are all the extensions that I'm going to be using for this hairstyle. So now I'm going to take that whole top section of hair that is just like everywhere right now. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that in the little mini bun on top of my head. So I'm just taking all of the hair, including the extensions. So basically any hair that's not in this ponytail right here, you just want to pull back and bring it up on the top of your head. And I'm just really making sure that I'm hiding those extensions because obviously you don't want your extensions to be showing. So now I'm just taking one of these clear elastic hair ties and I'm just going to tie back my hair. Okay, so I put all the hair at the top of my head in a little ponytail right here. So I'm going to go ahead and take the rest of my hair down. I have so much weave right now, like... Oh, I forgot to take my paper plate out of the frame. Whoopsies. I ate the rest of my mango. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and take a hairbrush. And I'm just using this hairbrush from Forever 21. I literally bought this for like five bucks and it's really cheap. Again, as I said, from Forever 21, so it's nothing special, nothing too fancy. But I'm just gonna brush out any knots or tangles in my hair. Okay, so for some extra protection, again, I'm just gonna spritz some of my heat protectant all over my hair. Okay, so I'm gonna be curling my hair for this hairstyle. So I'm going to go ahead and heat up my curling iron. And this is just a one and a half inch barrel from Conair. I personally don't use this little clamp right here, but I'm just gonna be using this to curl my hair today. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat this up. And I put it on the highest setting, which is number 25. So this is what my hair looks like so far. It's just super long, super voluminous. I really love these extensions a lot, but we have to make sure that it actually looks like my real hair. So we're gonna blend the hair together, the extensions with my actual hair using this curling iron. And we're gonna curl the pieces together just to make sure everything looks all natural. So while that's heating up, I'm gonna listen to some music because why not? Church corridor. 
What a shame the poor groom's bride is a whore. Okay, so I think it's all heated up now. So I'm gonna take a glove because honestly, I'm the clumsiest person ever. So I know I'm gonna burn myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and prevent that by wearing a glove. What I like to do is I like to just take a little section of hair and just like a random section. Okay, that's a little too thick. And then I'm just taking my curling iron and then I'm just wrapping it around the barrel. And then I hold it there for like 15, 20 seconds. Okay, so then I just hold it in my hand, kind of like squeeze it a little bit and then I release it. And it gives me this really pretty big voluminous curl. So I'm just gonna continue repeating that pattern to the rest of my hair. And I'm gonna make sure that I'm blending the extensions into my real hair. So I'm going to be taking little pieces of the extension and I'm gonna take parts of my real hair and then I'm going to curl that together just to make sure that I blend the extensions of my real hair. Okay, so I just got done curling my hair. It didn't take me that long because I didn't do too much of like a curl curl. I kind of just did like really subtle, really just like wavy curls. So this is just what my hair looks like. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off the look. So I'm just gonna take this small ponytail right here and I'm just going to twist it into a bun. It's gonna look a little wonky at first. Don't worry, we'll fix it. Okay, so now I'm gonna take another clear elastic band and I'm just gonna secure the bun with this. Okay, and since it's such a small bun, it's gonna look really weird like this. So we're gonna need some bobby pins and we're gonna secure the bun to my head. Cause like, honestly, you don't wanna go out with a bun looking like this, like it's not cute. So I'm just gonna take some of my little bobby pins right here and I'm just gonna secure the bun into place. As you can see with just one bobby pin, it's already making the hairstyle come together. I actually think that's enough. I only use two bobby pins. Whoa, I usually use like five or six because like my hair never wants to stay in place, but I only use two, that's so awesome. So I'm just gonna finish some last minute touches like putting on some hairspray and fixing all these flyaways, so I will be right back. Ah, okay, so this is a finished look and I absolutely love it. The loose curls are just so beautiful and the little mini bun on top is so cute. I wear this hairstyle all the time. So this is just what the final hairstyle looks like and I love it so much. It's so adorable, I love it, I love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video and if you did, you can go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and comment down below any video requests that you have for me and if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. So I hope you have a wonderful day. I love you and bye! Sitting in a spinny chair and it keeps spinning.